all of us like to know throw these new terms right so new normal has become obviously the buzz and then everyone's jumping in on that and 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 so what 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 does that really mean right so what what's the relevance of that to you know the farmer the person who's in the village um and and that's a great question i think it's it's something that the way i like to think of it is it's it's a huge opportunity new normal is really what we make of it and that's so important these times of disruption pose an immense opportunity for those with conviction to wishes point those with imagination to really define what normal is going to be and that's that's what new normal is it's there are a few things to what we discussed earlier that were trends that are going to get magnified and amplified so it makes sense to kind of embrace those and move with it but each one of us in our own context has a huge opportunity to define that new normal right so you take for the villager who's you know not relevant to some of the most of the conversations we're having right now what does it really mean is, is you take the examples of like sarakata right um what does sri lanka have to do i mean what uh, prasan and the team have done with sarakata is really go to the outskirts and source fresh have small plots of land where these farmers are able to present their produce directly into a huge burgeoning export market and you know if you look at what they've done they've also been able to add a storyline they've added freshness they've added the context of the farmer and that's been able to yield 20 30% more price point than typically the large exporters now that's going to become the new normal that happens at scale for people in those villages to be able to do more of those things so i i think it's really the point i want to make across is that for those that are able to really act with urgency and intensity and provide clarity you create the you you become the winner to create what the new normal is and influence it on others so i think all of us as a country need to make that for ourselves right and for sri lanka as well it's not necessarily like we were right at the top and this pandemic has now brought us down right as bad as it sounds we were anyway down here what's happened is now we've actually leveled the playing field so in a way it it sounds really bad when i say this it might be a blessing in our context to we've almost been given another lifeline potentially to get act together really come together and really define our new normal in context of what it is for asia right so how do we become the true gateway for asia how do we make sure that as all these companies start getting into these markets what's the role that sri lanka plays in that